working on this ABB and it is for a stairway pressurization fan which is right up here and I'm getting bypass alarm 4006 right so the easy way to troubleshoot this is you can see what they got going on here these are like your relays and everything so there's the bypass right there I'll zoom out a little bit right there's your bypass there's your inverter so when you're troubleshooting these power goes out so if you can see this little legend back there right you can see how there's two terminal blocks here and here this one is the one through five this is six through ten terminal two is your output voltage three and four are your common so it will be backwards because I'm hooking up my meat leads backwards but you can see oh, hold on let me get a better connection here this really is hard to do one-handed Come on, Jason. I have to try and chopsticks this. Yeah, I'm very special. Okay, obviously it's backwards because I have my lead switch backwards, but whatever. It's still the same thing. Right? 21.41. Well, it needs to come back on this terminal six right here which I will put up a diagram that shows that is for the end switch of the damper and it isn't isn't making now you can see drive is not running I'll try and block this drive isn't running and it has t a 10 volt DC call so it wants to run and I don't know how I'm going to do this one-handed, but I'll try. Put one here on two. One here on six. And look at that. She starts to run. It's kind of a quick little easy way. These are not as complicated as people think they are. They really aren't. Over here would be your analog. Oh, sorry about that. Your analog input telling it, hey, run, run at this speed. And then your AO is your analog output. And that's kind of just something real quick, real easy. These are like, again, these are not as complicated as people think they are. We're gonna go up here and prove this. I did find this open and it seems like, a, at least according to the panel, which you can't always trust, Right, blue to blue when damper closed, yellow to yellow when damper opened. That doesn't seem how they wired it. And as you can see, the damper's open. Uh, the fan is probably just free spinning right there. But I'm gonna jump right here, these two blues. Approve, right? Damper is open. 
This is the closed side right here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Simple enough, right? And you saw the damper was open. And I missed the last step on the ladder. <laughs> and we'll shut this off. Actuator's rotating. Damper is closing. Okay, let me come back here on ohms. Toning out. And this one should be open, and it is. So, we have proved that that switch right there, uh, they did have the wires backwards in here. I did switch them because this is the closed position. Sorry for my finger blocking it, but you can see right here is a small like little linkage that moves with the damper blades and it proves to here so the, the whole point of this box is to prove to the BAS that the damper is closed or the damper is open that's all that's literally all it is since you know some of these Bolimos do have an end switch in them this particular one uh, uh, does not and you can see that just simply by the wiring diagram so that's what this is for this proves to the BAS that and in this case, since this is stairway pressurization for the fire panel, it proves that uh, the damper opens so the fan can turn on and run. So relatively simple call. It's just uh, unfortunately this part has failed and, you know, just need to get a new one and we should be uh, good to go.